a pleasant day to all. It's my pleasure to be here as a part of this project. Let me introduce my team members. We stand here in a pride as we are united together. We are from Sri Ishwar College of Engineering. Myself, Sri Dhananjayan from Tripoli Department, Malavili and Karthik Raja from Tripoli Department. We have Vibhraja, Kubala, Kishore from IT Department. We have our mentors who help, it, help us in this project. We have uh, Ms. Sumaya Parvin, Assistant Professor of CAC Department and Mr. Vivek Kumar, Assistant Professor from ECE Department. Here, we have come up with a problem. Our supply chain consists of five entities. First is Forma, second is APMCs, where APMC stands for Agriculture Produce Market Committee. So ideally, farmers were supposed to produce, produce their crop and they were supposed to take to the APMC, APMCs. It is also called Mandi. So at Mandi, only government licensed traders were allowed to get the products from the farmer and no other traders was allowed. Number three, we have wholesalers who buy the products from the farmer and store them in the warehouse. Number four, we have retailers and number five, we have consumers. When there is a surplus production, price tends to decline, causing the farmers to lose money. The rate of the product increases as uh, when there is a scarcity. There is no suitable transportation facilities for the farmers to take their products to the APMCs or from the APMCs to the warehouses. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a lot of these lots of lot of were like done in the warehouses due to expenses. When uh, our practice takes place, when our practice occurs, it creates a fake scarcity which leads to an increase in demand. As a result, the product price increases. Uh, this has an impact in consumers. The further is continued by Malawi. The drawback in the current solution is the APMC supplies where farmers sell their crops to wholesalers at a set price. The mandis are about 30 to 50 kilometers far away from the farmers and more than 80 percentage of the farmers in our country are still small farmers. So most of the farmers neither had storage facility nor could they afford transportation facility. Therefore, they either had to rent a truck or they had to sell it to the junior contractor who then sold it to the senior contractor who then took it to the mandi. So to put that straight, they either had to bear the cost of transportation or they had to sell their product to the middleman at an extremely low cost. Next slide was continued by Karthik Raja. Here we come up with our solution. Farmers who grow crops must register to pre book their storage slot using our app in order to increase storage space. Updating data from farmers and production counts in order to improve the buffer stock. Since the APMCs are 40 to 50 km away, we gather information about transportation facilities around the vicinity of the farmers, collecting the information about warehouses and its minute details, so that farmers find it easy to know its availability around their area, maintaining the product's originality without any wastages. Using our app, government can able to determine the actual production with this info. We can able to predict the storage capacity and enhance the buffer stock. According to the production rate, either surplus or defect, the government fixes a fixed rate to prevent suffering of both farmers and consumers. The next slide was taken over by Infrajo. A product depends on four major requirements. Number one, production information from the farmers. Number two, information about transport facility around their areas. Number three, the location of warehouses and the amount of space availability. And finally, number four, to analyze the data of the product in the warehouse, which is highly important. Our solution is unique in the way as it intimidates the current location of the warehouse and shares details about storage space. It also indicates location of the origin of the production. We provide brief information about transport and warehouse services to facilitate the farmers. We maintain buffer stock with appropriate temperature and humidity. Subsequently, maintaining the product's originality without any wastage is our primary goal. Here, we have a prototype where we have developed the front end and we are in the process to develop the back end too. Here, we have come up with a construction idea to build a smart and efficient cold storage to maintain the originality of the crop product. Here you go.
It is only the farmer who faithfully plants seeds in the spring and who reaps a harvest in the autumn. Farming is the profession of hope. Thank you.